I'm Adama Kauman. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So we have to talk about Hagata. <laughs> Hagata is kind of like a smaller um, city in uh, Egypt. And I just remember going, and it took me eight hours to get there, about seven to eight hours to get to Hagata. And I just remember like it being so amazing and so good. And honestly, I feel like by even sharing this video, I'm like letting out on a crazy secret that like Americans don't go to Hagata. I stayed in this resort. The resort, a lot of people who stay in this resort are usually like people from Germany, Poland, and Russia, and just different parts of Europe because Egypt is close to Europe. And they go there as part of like going to Mexico is like what Americans do. Like anywhere you go like to like just let off some steam, like that's what Hergata is. Arabella is kind of considered like a luxury hotel. I didn't really leave the resort because everything was there. Like it was the most, it was the first time that I ever stayed in a resort and it was just so inclusive. They had breakfast, they had lunch, they had dinner, they had drinks, it was great. And I just remember loving it so much. You know, I stayed at that hotel for I think maybe four nights before heading back to Cairo to catch my flight to Ghana. And it was so amazing. I got to go to safari and like drive through the desert. <laughs> And I got to, you know, get on the wheelies and stuff like that. It was really cool. Being in Hergada and like I, getting massages and like I didn't really swim. I really wish I would have swam. It was just that I felt like it was a little bit too breezy and I just didn't want to like get sick or anything like that. Because there was a night where I did get sick in Cairo, but Hergada was just so good. And I just remember asking one of the employees at Arabella. I was like, "Do Americans ever come here? And like, do you ever see Americans here?" And he was just like, "Almost rare." And I was just like. Why do people not know about this place? But I feel like to get to Hergada is such an ordeal because, you know, to get to Egypt is about 10 to 12 hours. And then to get from Cairo to Hergada is like five hours. And so like you have to like transfer flights or whatever. And some people don't have the patience that I do. And so, but I took advantage of it and it was so amazing. I'm so glad that I got to go to Hergada and I would totally go again. But yeah, and like I got to see these guys dancing in dresses and I thought that was really cool. I just feel like there's 
I learned that I remember being over there and Sandra, a friend that I made over there, said that that like Americans are so diplomatic and like we just always have to be, we have to say what we are and all these other things. And, and Egypt is just like free flowing, like you know, like we don't have to talk about everything, we don't have to talk about sexuality and all these other things, we just live in sexuality. That was just my experience. Um, and I can't say that's the same for everyone, but over me, with me, I just kind of felt like everyone just kind of like, like I'm living my life. And I feel like that's become like a thing I say now, just living my life. Cause right now I don't know what's to come in the future and I'm just gonna live my life. So that's what I'm doing. I'm living my life and I lived my life.